Why, hello everyone! I'm your lovely host, Innocent, and... Is this really the last episode of Dream Daddy? <laughs> I think so. I don't... I don't know if I could go back to it after getting all of the dads. Maybe if there's a new update or something coming out, I might play it again. But as of right now, this is the last date we're gonna go on. This is the last date. <laughs> I, can, can, I, I don't wanna. I wanna go back to Damien and just be happy and live in that paradise. <laughs> But really, I am very excited to finally just finish everything up and just fully complete a game on this channel. I mean, I've done it before, don't get me wrong, but it's nothing of this size, really. What, this is going to be episode 24? We've done 24 episodes, can you believe it? I can't. Jesus. Anyway, we took some time off for our schedules to line up. We took some time for our schedules to line up, but it was finally, we, I was finally able to find a weekend where Quake, Quake, Quake and I could go camping. <laughs> My throat is still fucked up. He always stays so busy with work and the kids, but it's good to hear that we'll just be able to spend some time relaxing together in nature. Since our first run, I've managed to go on regular runs with Craig. I mostly do them because it seems like the only time we get to hang out, but the added benefit is that I've seen a lot of improvement in my health. I was able to sift through the attic and find my old camping gear from college. Craig put me in charge of bringing the sleeping bags and the tent while he takes care of the food, so I double checked to make sure everything is ready to go. Craig should be here any minute now. Man is going to be spending the weekend on a, on a school trip to the nation's capital. Hmm, fancy. I still haven't been there. The closest I've been is Wisconsin. Anyway, she hasn't been away from home without me for longer than a day since she was, like, 14. I hope she isn't feeling as nervous as I am about this. Hey, Mada Panda! Amanda's in the middle of sitting on top of her luggage in order to get it finally zipped. Mm. Hey, Pops! Ready for your trip? Once I get this bad boy all zipped up, I'm good to go! How much did you pack? It seems like a lot for two days. Oh, it's all my camera equipment, lenses, tripod, flash, all that! Are you even gonna have time to take pictures? I'll find a way. I need to get some good shots for my series of National Mommy Mo Mama Months. Oh, what's the series about? Hmm. It's one of those internet series where I reimagine Disney princesses and founding fathers. What? Hmm. I'm kidding. Nobody likes those. I'm taking portraits of my friends. Oh, well, I'm gonna be in the woods, out there in nature, you know, roughing it. Just me and Mother Nature, the old Madre de... Trees. Are you gonna be alright on your own? Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to have any signal out there, so I won't be able to text or call you at all. Oh. No, it's alright. I'll be able to survive a couple of days without constant updates on who just got voted off to International Haunted House Hunters. Well, I'll miss you. And for the record, Bradley was pushed down a flight of ornate stairs by a ghost. They were really beautiful stairs. Nana finishes zipping up her bag, big suitcase and locks it next to the door of her bedroom. So he turns around and gives me a big hug. Yeah. Relax, Satron. I'm a big kid now. I'm a big kid now. <laughs> I can take care of myself. Besides, I gotta share a room with Monica Sanders and two mom chaperones. The most trouble I could possibly into is falling asleep in a tub of ice cream on me. Oh, well, alright, don't steal anything, okay? Hmm. Since you asked so nicely, fine, promise. I step outside hauling my bag behind me. Bags. <laughs> Craig's already strapped some camping gear on top of my modest but stylish car. He notices me carrying my equipment and hurries to take it from me. Man, such a gentleman. I almost had a case of the vapors there. <laughs> Never fear. These muscles were made for picking up heavy things and putting them on other places. Remember, it's your weekend to relax. Take it easy. I guess I can't argue with that. Everything good with Amanda? Yep, on our way to school trip to Washington, D.C. What about your offspring? Mm -hmm. Already at Smash Leagues for the weekend, I am ready to get my camp on. I load the rest of my stuff into Craig's car and we get in. Oh no, what's wrong? I think I left my juice plug juicer plugged in. Uh, we gotta go back. Are you worried that someone's going to break into your house and cold press some carrots? No, it's just... I... 
Just try to relax, man. Let the juice float away. Take all of your worries and blend them into puppy goop vibes. Craig takes a deep breath. Do we have anything to listen to? Um. All I had in my place were a series of CDs that guide you through a. Uh. Through an intense catalyst workout. Do you want to listen to those? Um. I'm kidding. Craig hands me a thick case filled with CDs. Take a pick. I thumb through page after page of kids sing along CDs. Ah, oh, yeah, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star takes me back. Keep going. I get to the end of the case to find, in the very last slot, a blank CD with Craig's handwriting on it. TJ Cake Sands Mix Volume 1? Maybe just for the trip. I think you'll like it. I pop the CD into the car stereo and it's like immediately transported to our old dorm room. Hit after hit plays as soon as we're and soon we're enough both happily scream singing the lyrics to each song as we fly down the highway. Oh man, this song was Carl's favorite. Carl? <laughs> oh Carl, the third roommate! You brought that dog home one night and you I couldn't pry you two apart. So we spent the entire semester fabricating a story about our foreign exchange student roommate who had a really bad call that sounded exactly like a dog's bark. And then we had a room inspection. That RA was so suspicious of us, could never prove anything. And girl was just under a blanket, too. Bless that pup's courage under fire. Man, we did some dumb things back in college. The hours fly by and we belt our tunes in whatever non-existent key our voices register in. Soon enough, we're surrounded by lush trees and spectacular vistas of everything amazing that nature has to offer. Man, it feels so good to be back out here. Real good. We park our car at the entrance of a familiar trail and load up our gear onto the backs. Our backs. I'm thankful that I've been working on my health over the past couple of weeks, otherwise I'd be dreading all the hiking that is about to happen. Craig looks intently at his phone. Everything all right? Yeah, just had to fire off one last work email. Craig pockets the fun and we start off to the trail. It's relatively easy, but I know I would be huffing and puffing at this point if it weren't for all the murder sprints. Hmm. I look around me and take in the trail. Tall trees and animal chirps. Everything okay back there? There's no reception out here. Oh, yeah, being out in the middle of nowhere will do that. I recognize the look of anxiety on Craig's face. Oh, man. But what if there's a problem? There won't be. It'll be fine. Come on, buddy. Who's a relaxed boy? Oh. I don't know. Craig. Oh. <laughs> I'm a relaxed boy. That's my dude. We keep marching down the trail, but it seems like Craig is still worried. After a bit, he stops in his tracks. I... Maybe we should go back. We could find another campground that's gets good cell phone reception. Craig, seriously, what's wrong? Oh. I mean, I'm, I'm just really nervous. My dad instincts is kicking in, and my mind keeps conjuring up all sorts of worst-case scenarios. But what if something happens to the girls? I don't have signal. I would have no way of knowing. Let me tell you, that feeling never goes away, no matter how old your kids are. You just gotta remind yourself that they are in good hands. Craig doesn't say anything. I give him a reserving punch to the shoulder. Try to remember why we came out here. The plan was to get away from it all and just focus on ourselves for this little trip. No distractions, no cell phone service, just two dads relaxing out in the woods. Craig looks me directly in the eyes. No distractions, no cell phone service, just two dads relaxing out in the woods. We're gonna have some fun this weekend. Craig and I get back to marching. It's not too long of a hike before we get to the campsite, and we're both glad to see that there were the only people there. Can't believe he still have this tent. Found in my attic with art and I already checked it for holes. It's seen better days, sure, but I think we'll be able to survive. I dump the bag of fabric and poles onto the ground. We unfold the tent in, dis in a desired spot, and I had Craig the sticks. But we still know how to do this, right? Of course we do. We do not. After 20 minutes of struggling, like people have a bad infomercial, we somehow managed to build an upright structure that closely resembles what a tent would look like if you asked somebody to draw a picture of one with their eyes shut. I wouldn't put this up against a storm, but I think we'll be able to survive for the night. We set out a couple of chairs and cooking equipment, admiring our handiwork. 
Bro, look at us go! Look upon the kingdom we have built upon this rock. We shall grill our meats and drink our brews, for we hold dominion over this land. Really, uh, and look, look at our camping chairs. We're gonna, gonna sit on them. So, what's not on the Camp Stravaganza docket? Well, now that we have shelter settled, I think it's time for us to do some exploring. There's a waterfall a little bit up the way, and I'm sure we could hike to it. Let's get hiking! Craig and I venture into the woods. We amble along, taking our time to chat and admire the wildlife. Craig reaches out an arm and stops me. Dude, does it look like what I think it does look like? I look over to where he's pointing. Oh my god, it does. That tree looks like a butt! can't get over how detailed it is. I examine the butt tree further. The contour is perfect. It even has back dimples. Man, I thought we were going to have a great time camping, but this makes it even better! Craig holds back a snicker. I aspire to have every hike be as good as this one. I'm snickering now, too. Let us, let us analyze this tree further. Craig and I share a huge belly laugh over our awful jokes. Ah, the best thing about this is there's no daughter here to tell us our jokes are bad. We high-five. Craig and I hit the trail again. It's been a long time since we've been out here, and everything seems more or less familiar. We point on old landmarks that we remember back from our college days. I think we're getting close now. Check it out! There's a clearing up ahead. As we get closer, I can hear water running. Cresting over the hill, Craig and I are greeted by a wide clearing surrounded by trees. In front of us is a beautiful waterfall, spilling into a large body of water that runs into a river. Mouths agape with the genuine beauty of the place. We go to investigate. The old waterfall. Hey. It's gorgeous. Nature's so rad. Peering further, we get an idea of how deep the pool is. Think we could jump off it like the old days? <laughs> this old dad, he is happy here on dry land. Looks like you could climb right over there. You didn't even bring swimming trunks. Hmm. What are you talking about? Craig immediately begins taking off his clothes. Hi. <laughs> Gonna look at it. <laughs> I can't help but sneak a peek that that is a good butt. Craig turns around suddenly. He catches me looking. I do a lot of glute root workouts. I immediately turn away blushing. Oh. Coming or what? I don't, I, don't, I don't know about this dude. He's already making his way over to the waterfall by the time I finish my sentence. When he realizes I'm not right behind him, he turns around and rolls his eyes. <laughs> we live together for years and I've seen your ass more times than I can count. It's no big deal. Mm, let's put on a show. Well, if the clothes are coming up, then somebody's birthday! <laughs> Craig gives me a wolf whistle. I try to give my booty a good spank. That one's for you, big boy. <laughs> I take off my shirt and drop it in the pile of Craig's clothes. I put the rest of my clothes on the ground, feeling exposed. Craig and I climb up to the top of the waterfall, making sure not to slip on any wet rocks. He reaches the peak before I do and offers me a hand getting up. Down gone, Rumpa. At the top, we look over the cliff into the tiny lake. It seems... Oh, speaking of Danganronpa, I finally got to play the demo for the next game, and oh my god, I'm so hyped! I love Danganronpa so much. <laughs> oh, if I ever get the newest one, I am definitely playing it on here, and I want you guys to experience it with me because I love it! And, 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 and my voice for Amanda has been pointed out that it sounds like my Monokuma voice, which it does, and I didn't even realize it until <laughs> Arctic Sonata pointed it out. But anyway, at, at the top, we look over the cliff onto the tiny lake, and it seems so much higher from up here from this perspective. Craig has always been a daredevil. He pulled some stunts in college that I'm honestly still shocked he survived. I was always the one standing on the sidelines watching him and hoping I wouldn't be bringing him home in a gurney. Man, this could be dangerous. Craig looks at me in the eyes. Nice. Don't think, just jump! Craig cannonballs off the waterfall into the lake, creating a huge splash. I'm worried for a moment before he finally resurfaces from under the water. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> he turns the water and looks up at me. Mm -hmm. You coming or what? Don't think, just jump! Are you supposed to just not think? I'm pretty sure that's not physically possible. My toes grip the edge of the rock. The water looks so far away. 
don't think just 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 mm -hmm. I run off the edge, trying to do my best to cannibal. Somewhere in the middle, it turns into a really graceful belly flop. It hit the water with a loud slap. I resurface to find Craig giggling. Oh. I rate that belly flop a solid 8 out of 10. Your form was lacking, but your heart was in the right place. I playfully splash the water at Craig. Hmm. <laughs> Are you sure about that? I splash him again. Oh. You give me no choice. Craig splashes me in the face with a huge wave of water. You've awakened the beast. He launches another wave at me. Don't you put me in the corner here. Don't you put a wild ammo in the corner. Junk him. I lunge for Craig and manage to get him in an arm lock. Time for the finishing move. I summon all of my dad's strength to lift Craig out of the water. Nice. Tay. And I drop him in for a splash. Craig bounces back out of the water. Hey. <laughs> my turn. Oh, no, it seems like Craig was simply allowing me to pick him up and dunk him. He grapples me with his clearly superior muscles and quite literally tosses me across the water. I emerge from the water, devastated. Mm. You think I did all those pull-ups just so I could look good with my shirt off? Nah, bro. These arms are cannons. These arms... These are arm cannon dad launchers. <laughs> Craig does a playful flex for me. Damn! Craig, truce, please. Craig thinks about it. Mm. Yeah, sure. We shake hands. There's peace. Man, that jump was such an adrenaline rush. Oh. <laughs> Not so scary now, huh? <laughs> oh, <we're sitting> up. <laughs> we went all the way up and slicked the rocks and the cannibal off the waterfall again. What a rush. Good form on that one. Wanna go again? Yes. <laughs> Danganronpa. Yes. Takes a little bit more time. We both get to waterball and do our best running jumps into the water below. <laughs> Alright, I think that's my limit. We should get going back before it gets too dark. Alright. We should probably head back. We go to put our clothes back on and notice that they're soaking wet. Maybe a splash fight wasn't the best idea. Ah, uh, it's okay. We'll get a fire going in no time. We can dry off and then get some dinner going. Sopping wet, we hike back to the campsite and unpack everything we need for dinner. Craig pulls out some couple steaks and chopped up some potatoes in a tin foil. What? Yep. Oh. <laughs> you ready for the feast? Hey man, take a seat. The Craig train is pulling into the relaxing, relaxing station and I'm your conductor. Let me cook for you. <laughs> Absolutely not. Cooking is the thing that relaxes me the most. I'll take it from here. <laughs> oh god. Since this is a game grump game thing, the first thing when it was like, we're gonna take a thing to this junction, I was just like, taking a trip to Sleepy Time Junction. I'm a, I'm a nerd, I'm sorry. Craig cooks now? I remember how he spent an entire sophomore year diet consisting of microwavable mac and cheese, but not microwaved and just I had trouble believing it was such... Th 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 what? At least let me start the fire. Hmm. Sure. Let me grab the matches. Craig reaches into his backpack. He rummages around in his bag, pulling things out and checking every pocket. Uh-oh. Huh. I know I packed it. Craig checks another bag and still can't find it. My stomach grumbles and now I'm acutely aware of how cold and wet we are. I am. We really need to get this fire started. Okay, well. It's not the end of the world. I... Gosh, I'm, I'm so stupid. I, I could have sworn I packed it. I, I'm sorry, dude. Don't be. We can figure this out. We can start a fire. We're smart, guys. I mean, how hard could it be? I've watched plenty of survival program on TV. If a naked reality TV star can do it, so can we. We'll need some wood. Just to see the trees around us. Oh. There's no shortage of that. And some tinder. We can make that work. And then I think ancient aliens are supposed to come by and give us advice, advanced technology, or venerate our house, or something. Depends on the show. Craig and I gather a variety of wood, bark, and moss until we have all the materials that could conceptually make a passable-looking campfire. Oh. <laughs> Sad fire, right? That's the fun part. The sun is just now setting and the cool breeze rustles the leaves of the trees around us. We have to work quick. Mm -hmm. I've done this in the past and I know I can figure it out. Just give me a second. Any way I can help? Huh? Give me some moral support. Live my spirits and we'll make this fire happen. 
go overboard. You're really giving that fire the business. You're an amazing, hardworking father with a steady worth ethic, and everyone loves you. Your daughters think you're a superhero, and neighbor dads respect you imme- immensely. Also, your butt looks great. Rose, <laughs> stop, you'll make me cry. Okay, okay, don't want your tears putting out the fire. Eventually, Craig is miraculously able to get something going. He blows on the embers and gently places the glowing moss into the base of the pit. Soon enough, we have a nice little fire going. Way to go, man. We're regular old outdoorsy fellas. Hmm. <laughs> Hooray for not dying. I take a seat on one of the lawn chairs Craig's bought and cozies up to the fire, warming my hands. Mm-hmm. Relax, man. Take it easy. Let me handle the dinner. I watch as Craig stokes the fire and sets up a makeshift grill for steaks. After all that hiking and swimming and fire starting, I'm able to relax a bit, with the sound of crickets and the scent of steak filling the air. I actually feel pretty calm. Craig expertly sears two steaks in a pan. He's been heating on the fire, cracking thyme and crushing ginger over it with while basting them both in butter. Well, I didn't know he was actually good at cooking. That is the fanciest I've ever saw him get in college. The fanciest I ever saw him get in college when he started sprinkling the seasoning packet onto the dry ramen and eating it straight up. When did this happen? You used to eat cereal every morning with a beer instead of milk. Oh. I grew up, I guess. I think these are just about ready. Craig puts a steak onto the paper plate and sets them aside. I start to reach for one, but Craig smacks my hand away. Hmm. Dude, let them rest. It'll be more flavorful that way. I patiently return to my seat, eyeing the steaks longingly from a distance. They smell incredible. Craig prepares a side salad for us, and in the meantime, oh. in the meantime, sprinkling feta cheese onto freshly chopped greens, he places it next to a generous pile of roasted potatoes covered in olive oil and rosemary. Once it's all ready, we sit down by the fire and dig in. Hmm. Everything tastes okay? I'm in heaven. Hmm. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Remember how for an entire semester we would eat burritos for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Hmm. So hard not to go back to that. Look at you now, man. You have kids. Great job, and now you cook like a vengeful wizard whose arch nemesis is a microwaveable food. I'm really impressed with how much you've gotten in your life together. <laughs> Craig laughs, but there's no humor in it. Oh. I'm glad you think that. I glance at Craig while he picks at his salad. He really grew out of his baby face, but there's something about his expression that makes him seem so much older than he is. A sense of maturity he didn't have in college. He looks exhausted. You okay? Oh. Yeah. Come on, dude. I've known you for long enough to see when you're down. Oh, man. I'm tired, bro. I think being out here made me realize just how much drained I feel. You work really hard, Craig. It can't be easy. Oh, man. I've had to for my girls. I I volunteer at their school. I cook healthy meals for them. I do everything I can to make sure they're safe and happy. And when they're with their mom, I'm always working overtime so I can support them. And then you work a lot so you can crush anyone who stands in their way? I don't know. That, and I don't want to fall into old habits. I need to set a good, good example for my girls. Everything I do is for them, and I wouldn't have it any other way. It seems like it's bleeding you try. Hmm. If that's what it takes to raise them well, well, then it's worth it. Craig, buddy, I, I know where you're coming from here, but you gotta take care of yourself, too. Dude. I do, though. I eat right and I exercise, and that's not what I mean. You're too little butter on too much toast, you you know? Nice. What? You're spreading yourself too thin. Life needs balance. It's great that you care so much about your kids, but... You can't neglect your own needs because you're too busy taking care of everyone else. You matter too. Oh. It's just... I know I can provide for my family, and it it takes... If I take a step back and look at everything objectively, I know I'm doing right by them. Oh. But... I can explain it, man. There's always a voice in the back of my head that's telling me that I need to do more. It's like it's never enough for me. Every time I try to relax, the voice keeps telling me I don't deserve it. And to be honest, I, I even feel guilty being out here. Craig, you're trying your best and you're doing an amazing job. That's a fact. But even if you weren't, you still deserve happiness. Oh, man. Do I, though? Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> Craig and I, I look at Craig and think about what a good friend he is, an even better father he is. He's compassionate, he's hardworking, he's relentless, relentlessly positive. He encourages everyone to do the best, to be the best version of themselves. He makes me want to be a better person. If you could only see yourself the way I see you. 
Craig beams. He gets up and walks over to his supplies. Mm. Come on, I brought dessert. Oh, are you going to use the campfire to torch up tops of creme brulee? Mm. What? I know a little to nothing about cooking. Craig pulls out marshmallows. Hey. <laughs> well, you still have to know how, know how to make s'mores, right? I think the most important question is, do you know how to make s'mores? As I recall, you used to just completely blacken the marshmallows. Oh, oh I stand by that. It's charred on the outside, but gooey center is preserved. Brutish. Craig throws a marshmallow at me and I catch it in my mouth. Oh. Pro move. We used to be able to do that in great distance against the wind disadvantaged. Give me a week practice and I'll be competitive again. Craig and I sit in the warm glow of the campfire watching embers float up towards the sky. Stars are so much brighter out here. Side note, since I live in a giant city that is very bright all the time, I never knew what stars looked like, really. Like, I can see, like, the constellations and, and, and like, a few really bright stars and that's it. It's mostly blackness. It's always been blackness and just a few stars. So when I went out to Wisconsin, I looked up at the sky. I was just like, holy fuck. I never knew the sky could be so bright. What is this? <laughs> just a little side note tidbit about me. Living in a city does have its disadvantages. Like, I didn't see snow for, like, the longest time. And I didn't know what it was, really. Like, really, what is snow? What it, What is rain? I want rain. Anyway. Yeah. Hmm. I miss this, Innocent. Me too. We stay here until it gets late, half remembering stories from college. We watch as the fire dies and eventually clamber into the tent. Ow. Ow. We crawl into the tent and I unfurl my sleeping bag. Wait, where's the other sleeping bag? I look around for a second. Ew. Oh no, I must have left it at home. It's all yours, dude. I'm sorry. Just curl up over here. And now I hear. Craig unzips the sleeping bag and spreads it out so there's enough room for both of us to lay on top of it. Nice. Night, bro. Good night, bro. I roll over and we face away from each other. Without a blanket, it's really cold. I shiver, and without realizing it, I find myself nestling closer to Craig. I'm sure he won't mind. He turns over and I can feel his breath on my neck. It's hard to focus on anything else. I turn over, trying to get more comfortable. I open my eyes to find Craig's face only a few inches from my own. For once, he looks at peace. His, flies, his eyes flutter open. His hand, hand finds mine placed on his waist. His hand finds a place on my waist. I'm not sure who leans in first, but, we some, but, but we're kissing. We look at each other again. My heart's racing. Uh, Craig. Oh, man. I got strong feelings for you, bro. Feelings I can't deny anymore. Bro. Me too. <laughs> oh, God. This sounds like some weird fan fiction. <laughs> I run my hands through his hair and then down to his chest. Craig brings me closer, wrapping his arms around me. I feel so secure. Oh. You know, talking about old times is fun, but... I like making new memories with you. I smile, tracing the lines of his hips with my finger. We kiss again, and I'm not worried about us getting too cold tonight. Wink, wink, hint, hint, wonk, wonk, woohoo! We done fucked. <laughs> In a tent. <laughs> oh, I'm horrible. Man, that was amazing. Just like back in college. I've missed you, dude. Did you guys fuck in college? Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Did you get- Did you? I need to know. Did you guys fucking college? Because that changes everything. That changes a lot. I got the achievement, dreamiest daddy! Yay! <laughs> Yay! All right, let's sh let's get this, this 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 going. Surprise! It's me and all of my boyfriends. I hope you're happy, sweetie. <laughs> yes. Oh, whoopsie! I missed one. But square. Rare. Star. Yeah. I'll get it next time. Manion leans in close to Burn Hazel, lowering her voice. Mm. Listen, you guys can be real with me. If you're downplaying your psychic abilities, I want you to know you can trust me. Heck, even think of me as a third twin. Amanda, that's a triplet. Hmm. You know, Dad, by the time I'm done with these kids, we're going to be finishing each other's... 
What? You didn't finish your sentence. What are we going to be able to finishing each other's <laughs> sentences? See? They're twin. Mm. I have to go. First, let's wind down, do the thing. It's a bit of a I hit my mic. It's cool. I've been doing this like all episode. All right. This is the last time under the cherry blossom. <laughs> I take a seat next to Craig as the last guests make their way out of the party. Oh. Bro. Bro! Oh. This reminds me of the parties we used to throw. Fewer kick stands, of course. Probably for the best. I don't want to get my hip replaced after a party trick goes wrong. Oh. <laughs> you can leave the Craig stands in the past. I accidentally made a pun and I didn't. <laughs> mean it. <laughs> hmm? oh. I'm, uh, taking this weekend to relax. This party was my first stop out of the express train from Relaxin Station. Next stop is Snapville. Pull into the Innocent Concourse. I'd like a book a ticket to Natville as well. <laughs> I might have to eat you, meet you halfway for eating food directly off of your own stomach town. We both giggle, but man do I want to just pour some chips on my own belly while I hang out with the hammock. Craig, I'm glad you're making time for yourself. Oh. Me too. Hmm. Stress is a funny thing, dude. I didn't realize how overworked I was until we got away from the city. It's honestly just as destructive as binge drinking every night and eating burritos off the floor. I guess we need to get out of the city more often then. Oh. Craig kicks his leg over the side of the bench and leans onto me, lying down on my lap. I run my fingers through his hair. You're looking for balance. I admire that. I'm trying not to feel guilty about doing things for myself. Oh. It's a process. It's gonna take me some time to figure it out. I might need your help, bro. Craig, I'll be there. I'll be your bro till the day I die. And if being your bro means forcing you to take care of yourself, then I'll be happy to oblige. Oh. Craig looks up at me, smiling. Mm. Bro, mm. that means so much to me. Craig sits up and pulls me into a kiss. Bro, <laughs> we both laugh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you and me, we're gonna be alright. We did it! We dated every dad! <laughs> Guys, we did it! We 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 really did it. Holy shit. I I'm I was not ready. I'm not ready. But we get our final We get our final pinup! Oh my god! We get our final pinup and it's gonna be Craig. Do we do we get his ass? That's not his ass. Oh no. Aww. That's adorable! It's in a softball game! And then, and then they won, so they dumped the thingy over- Oh, Alright. Alright, since we beat the game, we get to see the opening credit thingies do the thing after this. After that. They're all filled out! <laughs> oh, oh my god. And the gallery's all full, too. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I am so happy. Okay, I guess this is the end of Dream Daddy for now. Like, unless they, like, patch in another dad for this space right here, or, it's, or they finally do the Joseph's weird secret ending thing. And then, this is it. This is it. Wow. I really got- I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I- I really enjoyed this. I- I really like dating sims and I play a lot of them and I'm so glad that I finally got to play a like bigger production American made dating sim because there really isn't a lot of them it's more of a Japanese orientated thing and it, I, I'm just so happy I really didn't think I would like Dream Daddy getting into this by the way I all, all I knew is I was gonna like Damien and that was it. And now I'm so happy. I really like all of them. There isn't one I hate. Which is odd for me. Usually I at least hate one of them. But no, I like all of them. They're all cute and I love all their stories. And oh my god, I love it. I'm getting sentimental. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you so much for being here. Really, we are growing so fast in, like, numbers. That it's baffling to me. I... I like, I, from when I'm recording this, I literally just posted my 400 subscribers to special and we're literally over halfway to 500 now. And, oh my god. We're about to, I'm about to start a giveaway where I'm 
like, oh my god, I don't know anymore, and I'm like, I'm overwhelmed, and I'm happy. <laughs> really, thank you guys. I really, I appreciate all of you. Just, thank you for being you. Really. <laughs> well, this has been Dream Daddy. All of Dream Daddy. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time and I hope to see you all so very soon. Peace out. Bye-bye. Oh, <laughs> oh,